Jambo la kwanza ujumbe wenyewe ulitumwa usiku wa manane usiku wa kuamkia tarehe kumi uh, mwezi huu wa pili saa tisa na dakika thelathini na mbili za asubuhi ujumbe wenyewe ulinitaja kwa jina na ukatisha kwamba ikiwa sitaacha kuwania kiti cha urais basi nitajuta na nitakosa amani kwamba if you want peace then stop vying for that office ujumbe wenyewe pia ukaongeza kwamba Kenya ina wenyewe na how Kenya hao wenyewe ndio huamua ni nani atakuwa rais ujumbe wenyewe ulitaja uh, kwa, kwa, kwa uwazi kabisa kwamba Kenya inaongozwa na mafia kwa upande wa kuchagua viongozi na kwamba hakuna siku nitakuwa rais so hivyo vitisho ambavyo viliisha na maneno kwamba i am warning you ninakuonya ndio niliowasilisha kwa DCI na mara moja wakaanza kuchunguza hivi sasa wako na mpaka na simu yangu wanachunguza kabisa wakitumia simu yangu kama ushahidi i am part of an alliance that's called the eagles national alliance the eagles National Alliance is abbreviated as TENA TENA We will be unveiling our um, roadmap in just a few days and so I will request a bit of patience TENA or TENA brings together several like-minded value-based political parties that will be um, pushing towards forming the next government and I believe that uh, if you're looking for um, the kind of authentic leadership you'll find it in uh, TENA. Now we will be announcing our running mate in due course. Uh, we are doing all the negotiations right now and uh, I believe that we'll be able to offer a like-minded uh, value-based uh, deputy president as well. I stand for the philosophy of people coming first, that is Utu. Uh, kwa sababu tumekuwa tumedharauliwa sana kama nchi wa Kenya wamedharauliwa sana that's why they can be treated to all the drama that's why they can be stolen from that is why you know they can have uh, hiked electricity bills or promises that electricity is coming down and it never comes down or you can have uh, doctors working without uh, uh, you know the equipment they need and without the right payment, you have teachers that are transferred kiholela holela. So, wa Kenya wamefanyiwa madharau. And we want a government that um, reverses that. We want people first. There's no need for an expressway if someone is hungry. There is absolutely no need for an SGR if someone is still a victim of so-called bandits. There is no need for us to do all these huge projects if people have no health services, no housing, no education. So Utu. The second thing is Uongozi Halisi. We want authentic leadership that respects the, the rule of law. You know the law in Kenya nowadays works only for a few. You know, those who are in power and in leadership generally evade the arm of the law because they see themselves as being above the law. We want a law that works for someone who steals a chicken or a banana because they are hungry, and for someone who steals from the national coffers, who, who steals from Kemsa. We want the law to apply to all. And then we want also uongozi wa maendeleo. We want development that works for all, and for me, it is about feeding the nation, it's about having a healthy nation, and also having an education that is informed. At independence, we were told that we had three enemies. That is ignorance, poverty, and disease. Unfortunately, we've been added corruption and impunity and disregard of the law. You can admit that, uh, you know, Kenyans are losing two billion per day, you know, just callously like that. But you cannot even take care of uh, 
you know, the students that have uh, issues with help, it would take maybe only four days of recovering the two billion to take care of all the help costs. If I was president today, that's the first thing I would do. I would completely release all the students from the help obligation. It would take me only eight or nine billion. But this is a country that will bail out a mismanaged airline. This is a country that apportions more and more money to state house when Kenyans, 2.8 million Kenyans are starving. When young people in the media, young people in school, young people at home are victim of daily, daily, you know, hopelessness.